you raising your hands and dancing all night or are you just feeling insecure about going into public with anything that's basically sleeveless what's up welcome back to my channel today i have a video where i where i comprise seven tips that will help you get rid of that odor problem under these arms and that will help you lighten your underarms over time and I have been struggling with under dark underarms for like a really really long time. I didn't want to do this video because it was really really bad. It still is pretty bad, but it has been lightening up by using these tips. So I wanted to make this video, make this video to share these tips with you guys. I hope you all enjoy it. And by no means am I trying to tell you that lighter underarms is the way to go. If you have dark underarms and you are confident with it, then rock it all the way girl but if i'm just i just have these tips to make that will help you make feel more confident about yourself so you won't have to be worried for those of you all who are insecure i am a little bit but sometimes i just really really don't care because they are a big big problem so anyway let's just get on into the video you have to shave somewhat regularly not every day definitely not every day somewhat uh, maybe like two to three times a, a week most, most likely two times a week because the hair on the, when you have hair under your arms it actually makes your arm look darker plus what helps what keeps in the odor there is that the hairs actually keep that bacteria locked into it so that um, the odor doesn't really go away if you don't shave plus if you shave every single day like regularly as soon as you feel that little stubble your arms will actually get darker shaving more often so you have to sh have to shave somewhat you know moderately so that the odor doesn't build up there all that bacteria it doesn't look dark neither does it get darker while continuously shaving using an all natural deodorant really really does help because i have been suffering with a serious hygiene issue and using this really did help me to keep down my odor these ingredients are so so natural cornstarch baking soda lavender and tea tree oil and coconut oil you could use any essential oil if you want once you get if you want a scent but the coconut oil is something that you must put the consistency is very very creamy and the corn such makes it hard and this is just really really good for your skin at home try not to put on any deodorant i know it sounds gross but if you are sure mostly that you are not going to go anywhere for the day and you're just home relaxing it is such a lazy day and you're just remaining home and you're not going anywhere don't put on any deodorant it actually gives your pores time to clean out it sounds like air out in a way so like when you sweat all the bacteria will sweat through your pores and that odor will be lessened over time if you do have to go out then you can put the deodorant but if you are home and you don't have anywhere to go just stay without that deodorant and let those bacteria fly away <laughs> let those bacteria fly away use antibacterial soap I know that every soap has some sort of antibacterial property but they are stronger ones that only kill bacteria they have a very little scent and they are stronger for your skin what it does is that if you have buttons on your skin or anything like that it dries up these buttons so that over time the marks will go away plus if you it just literally kills the bacteria so if when you bathe with this soap any other sort of scent that you have it literally just kills the scent because i know i have such a high hygiene problem uh, serious hygiene problem that i would use normal soaps and when i come out of the bathroom i am still like i literally have to run back in the bathroom and keep scrubbing because the scent just does do. but this antibacterial soap really does help me an example is carbolic soap and dental soap those are the soaps that you will find in Trinidad for my US subscribers I will put a link in the description bar of alternative soaps that you could use uh, that, uh, that are antibacterial and you cannot use these soaps every day because it does dry out your skin so you will have to use it probably like two to three times a week so just shower always make sure that you scrub off all of the old deodorants before you put on new deodorant because if you have that build up of old deodorant mixing with new deodorant sometimes during the day you're gonna be like Whoo! that uh, you cannot believe that is going to be you plus when you are finished bathing um, make sure that your arms are dry before putting on new deodorant, deodorant because if they aren't dry the deodorant is not going to stick to your arm and you will have a stench during the day Use cocoa butter two to three times a week at night, not every day because it is a cream and it um, really seeps into your skin. If it doesn't get time to wash off properly, it will clog your pores and it will give you an even higher scent. This cocoa butter really, really does help to get rid of the marks and this is a really, really nice creamy consistency. It does not get hard like natural cocoa butter and I use um, Palmer's cocoa butter 
and it really really has been helping me get rid of the marks on my skin another thing that you could do is you actually use potatoes yeah potatoes you could peel it cut it um cut it into different uh cut it in some wedges and the juice from the potato or the liquid the potato just take the potato and rub it on your skin wherever you you can use this anywhere in your, on your body wherever you have marks especially under your arms because this video is about underarms you could um rub it there and leave it like keep rubbing it until you feel that sort of potato -y liquid it once it feels like kind of slimy that potato um the liquid from the potato is actually being remaining there so leave that for a couple of minutes and then wash it out if you do this continuously the potato itself i am not sure what about the potato i have not really researched it fully but um the potato itself lightens up the marks on your skin so bye guys hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button give it a thumbs up and comment below letting me know if you are going to use these tips if you have ever used these tips or if i missed out anything 